Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing Run. This is attempt number two. My name is Saiken. We're playing on the highest difficulty and I'm trying to do the world's first Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing War. We're beating the game in four and a half months, which is actually pretty rough. Today we're having Operational Righteous Pyre, um, a nice little supply rate uh, that is enriched by some more loss and we don't have our prime team. So we're going in with the backup team, which uh, is being led by uh, Dark Town Oxus. We got Ed Galleon Poe as a sniper. Um, uh, Mike Bravo. I think we're going to exchange uh, him with a uh, higher level Grenadier. Um, and we got Gravedigger, our skirmisher, just because we really don't have anyone else available. Um, got the second Mimic Beacon, and that pretty much already sums up our equipment. I think it's going to be a pretty hard mission. I think we're severely under-equipped and we're at the point in the game where it would be absolutely fantastic to have six instead of four soldiers per mission. Plus I need to win this mission, so gotta play carefully. And here we go, time for some landing. For whatever reason, it always is low FPS during the landing. <sighs> gotta love it. Anyways, uh, the good part about it is I just realized that we don't need to fully um, get all of the supplies. We're actually at a smash and grab mission, which I should have uh, uh, put one and one together after I noticed that there are losses up here. Smash and grab missions essentially offer you the option to just get uh, at least one crate and then uh, kill all of the enemies which is pretty damn good because uh, the standards for that are much lower than go through a full-fledged uh, supply raid kill everyone and have pretty hard packs to fight against i hope most of the 21 enemies here are actually going to be loss and loss are not as dangerous we got high ground here we got potential high ground back here I think we're taking this balcony. Heading to that location. Ed Galleon Poe is the first one to move in. There's usually absolutely no one up here. A long run. So, time for us to move in. And there we go. Now. Very nice. We're still in concealment. Those guys will trigger off of one another, and that'll give us a great opportunity to engage with them. Confirmed. They're triggering off of one another. We're essentially just spectating their struggles. Alright, everyone's on Overwatch, perfect. Those guys will trigger the loss and vice versa. What I'm hoping uh, will happen is uh, that they will get yeah, closer to one another and start fighting. Lost are charging in. That might even be a hit. Nope. Not yet. Let's 
let's continue to overwatch for now. Alright, the mutant tries to start clearing out the lost. It's not very successful in doing that. The mech, on the other hand, seems to be really uh, good at clearing them out. Oh, wow, max damage, nice. Holy shit, he wrecked them. Let's see what the response of the Lost is going to be. Alright. They caught up with the Stun Lancer. up just a tiny bit uh, because to be honest I also want the crates Alright, everyone's on Overwatch. Yeah, the mutant is relentless. Melee attacks do not restore um, ability points, so Stun Lancer will get hit once more. Of course, unless the mech would have hit. There's a second pack. Well, it looks pretty scary. Fortunately, the lost seem to have drawn the short end of the stick here. Don't want to trigger the other pack. I don't even want to be close to trigger the other pack. We, we're, we're not in a hurry. We can continue that position here. start would have been fantastic. Yeah, the second pack is coming in and although a grenade would be absolutely bungus to hit all of them with one grenade, it would also be pretty devastating because way too many hit points to deal with. I was about to say, how is it possible that any Overwatch is being triggered we haven't even been re uh, revealed? Let those guys come a bit closer. We have high ground and we have a really nice position. I'd like to use that in our advantage. Mutant is currently clearing everything here. Wow, seven crit. Well, that's a lot. Yeah. 
Problem with the Mutant, Mech, and Stun Lancer pack, like those three, is Stun Lancer is high priority because you don't want to lose someone permanently. And the Mech is a high priority because you don't want, specifically on high ground, to eat rockets and take even more damage. And Mutant is high priority because, well, hell yeah, it's a Mutant. It deals a lot of damage. Come on guys, come a bit closer. Don't just stand around there, do nothing. Can already see it. The moment that I'm leaving my position here and take a different one. They are going to come closer. I can already promise you that. Rolling out. Ten four. All right, we officially are in range of the package. That's good. Lost is going to spawn even without our intervention. A swarm of losts would be absolutely fantastic because it's exactly what we need, giving them a target rich environment. Yeah, just stay there, move back. Okay, well, let's. I think that's a better starting point. I guess question of the day is, are we going to engage them? Answer is probably yes. We gotta shred them. There's no way around it. Unfortunately, we don't yet have the extra shredding. Since they are already triggered, they're not going to move. Let's make sure we're being concrete in taking down the stun lancer first. Just because he dies rather easily. protocol next most dangerous target let's take the mech we are requiring or uh, we are required to take a mimic beacon regardless it's a nice grappling hook for high ground up here I like the high ground, actually. But this here is too aggressive. I think this here should be fine. It is perfect. Okay. First out of two mimic beacons has been used. 
and we are still standing. Uh, no way. Damn it. The cooldown for the assassin was down. But I haven't checked whether or not another um, chosen would be ruling here in the uh, on the east coast. Damn it, we're fighting the warlock on top, so it now became actually a really difficult mission. Luckily, adversary uh, skirmishers and bewilder together will give us a bit of an edge. The regeneration, on the other hand, is not very nice. And two armor. Yeah, let's rather hard as well plus he has mind control you don't want to deal with that that's one of the elders chosen and it's not going to make things easy on us let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible eight points of damage wow no no mm. Well, the loss might be our savior in this situation. We'll just let Edwin deal with the loss. I am nearly upon you. All right, marking the crate. Mainly to finally get that done. From the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Moving into full cover. Alright, first things first, let's kill the mech. Could move to here, not a bad idea. It's only half cover, that's full cover. That's non-flankable full cover. Still, the mutant would need to run on up to here, which I think he can not do. Move to here, could even move to here. Yeah, we could also be a bit more uh, defensive and just move to here for now. Still flanking. Let's hope we can shred him. Nope, quite the opposite. All right, let's get this guy down. Without the shredding, his armor, of course, starts becoming a problem. Let's crit him, please. Good. We're letting Edwin deal with the fallout of their own decision-making here. Instead of using the second Mimic Beacon, which is thinning their ranks. And Edwin will prioritize um, Shots into the open, aka onto loss over shots on us. That's why I was so particular in, in taking cover and moving back. Yeah, I don't. I really don't mind if they get ten chests. I just want to make that mission work.
Oh my god, I absolutely detest it. Should have, should have used um, the other cover. We were just one bit too close. Yeah, and Spectre Rupture, of course. Many of the lost uh, were just dying by the fire. need to use the second mimic beacon Mimic beacon would have prevented some damage here What's over there? we're taking full cover wherever it's possible Let's kill the spectral zombie. That is, not good. Uh, that is indeed incredibly bad. All right, zombie next. Minimum damage. Gotta kill that zombie because elsewise it's gonna run into our soldiers and deal a lot of damage. Yeah, we're using that round to plant another Mimic Beacon and potentially to reload just to be action efficient sniper rifle was almost empty all right there's the mimic beacon we're now officially out of mimic beacons and pretty injured on top of it um, I prefer to go for uh, the mutant. Only has forty percent crit chance. Zero on, unfortunately, zero on the mac. Hmm. I'll take forty over zero. I must and I must say, we are also on top of. Um, pulling that second pack, we are also quite unlucky with our and with our shots. Lots of eighty percent shots that technically could uh, could have been hits, and we were just missing all of them. Purifier is a pretty weak enemy, but against against uh, the lost. Holy shit, is he effective? Like the lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. All right, we hear another echo nearby, which is perfect. Slowly but surely, they are chipping away. That's good. Reloading to be action efficient, and I'm triggering another spawn. Plus, of course, we also got to uh, take away the armor. 
I hope that there is no other pack with that much armor, because we are out of options now. Great. At least there are a couple of targets. Very good. Okay. Well, let's start with the healing. Noxus makes sure that he survives. And I think the Advent Mech pretty clearly should be the first target. As a second set of rockets, uh, we don't want to deal with those. Let's get the Advent Mech first. Gotta get those blue screen rounds to just make it way less painful to deal with those suckers. Still can't crit that mutant. We have hit every single shot. The mutant will turn to the lost. There you go. That'll end his, uh, that will end his turn. Come on. One more round until we are going to get another summoning. But for the time being, can at least a couple of them start to move into the direction? Of the mutant? No, of course not. Well, look at that. That's good enough. Let's get this guy down. Oh. All right. Reloaded. It is really frustrating if uh, you're hitting, if you continue to miss like those amount of high percentage shots. Gotta deal with that. Very nice. Very nice. Come on, one more hit. Yeah, can't have it all. The rest was good though. Lost this far enough away. Don't need to feel him. It rather. There you go. Very nice. Okay, good. I am the victor. Weapon running low. No initializing weapon.
<laughs> the losses are taking a nice little beating there. There's the next spectral zombie I was talking about. Surprise, surprise, another uh, zombie which wants to just blow himself up. starting to get rid of the loss one by one Hostile neutralized. Ready to go. can't just move here I think that's still in the explosion radius Can move to there though. It's killing time. Time for a nice reload. And let's get that sucker down. Yeah, almost. You know what? Well, let's grab this guy with a justice punch. 100%, which means we can reload prior to that. And justice pull. And to complete our current situation, action efficient as always, we're going to heal. We're out of healing, we're out of grenades, we're out of mimic beacons. Taken a pretty, pretty, pretty nice beating overall. And we gotta neutralize all enemies, so there is not even the option to just bail. I'm a bit miffed because we got two injuries. How long did you think you could hide? Probably another 15, maybe even more days. At this point, we don't need more uh, chests. If we get one, fine. If not, not the end of the world. Another lost swarm. Interestingly enough, those guys never appeared when we were in concealment. So it's a mechanic that only triggers once you're out of concealment. And then they continue to spawn and spawn and spawn and make your life really, really miserable. I must have 
All right, let's get some of the dashers first. And then we just try to slowly advance. Good. Overwatch it is. Closing on target position now. Don't want the dashers to reach us, so right, we're continuing to move a bit back. Got it and there's probably going to be another spectral zombie, just because. the zombie we might be able to kill him before he reaches us nice that was a good hit yep there you go no spectral rupture and we even got a an overwatch left over You have to give it to them. They are pretty persistent. I am nearly upon you. Let's start with the reload in case we're effing this up. Worked like a charm. Got a promotion out of it, which isn't bad either. One down. Oh, come on. Well, at least we're getting some experience on the troops. Can't move forward yet but we will hopefully soon be able to get a little bit closer to our actual target the entire scene here looks like a massive giant battlefield like a war zone Overwatch and Noxus just goes for an Overwatch as well. Last supply crates are being taken, the two kills. We got our one supply crate. Reading just how the mission started. Enemy strength, level of opposition in general, number of enemies, plus the chosen. Let's be honest, it is more than we could have reasonably bargained for. So the warlock is somewhere back here. Ish. Moving. Good. With three guards to our sniper. Let's move up. And we're taking the high ground next and try to get it from there somehow. Good. Official distribution of uh, crates. Advent, 10, XCOM, That's 1. That's the last of the supply crates in this area. Venice 1-5, you're clear for evac. 
We got what we came for, so don't take any unnecessary chances out there. What are you even talking about? It says neutralize all enemy targets. No wonder that they have changed uh, the way that these missions work in uh, Long War. Because if you truly only came here for the supplies, then why would you need to kill everyone? Specifically, uh, since it's just, just literally the warlock who's left at this point. Soon a new, a new uh, lost Moving. swarm will rush onto us. I will go. Fortunately, the warlock is really in the pretty literal okay. last corner of the map. So set the last enemy? You must be kidding me, right? Watch order confirmed. Come get some! Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. That's not the last enemy. Yep, there is a massive swarm of lost. By the way, did I ever mention that I absolutely love the Between the Eyes uh, mod that allows you to kill those guys in just one shot? Pretty good Overwatch shots, though. Yeah, and the Warlock decides it is a good time to finally come out of hiding and give it a go. Yay! like 90% shots but yeah yeah that's exactly why I don't like 90% shots I was about to say it's not like we're hitting them 100% of the time elsewise Apparently Dark Tower Noxus, no problem whatsoever with hitting anyone. Everyone's reloaded, and we can kill this guy. Alright, where's the Chosen? Well, 
The three remaining enemies made it up here. Fortunately, this time minimum damage. Now let's kill this guy. Get the spectral zombie down. Okay, more like a charm. No, this clicked. Can really move in there. It would be embarrassing if I take some damage here but yeah the misclick I totally owned that one it was wobbling and I still decided to go forward big mistake ah that's an issue don't mind control double move good You know what would be cool? A grenade. Awesome. Very well for so many years. Come. Show me why the elders favor you so. That's the elders warlock. All reports indicate he's nearly as dangerous as they are when it comes to psionic capabilities. Your commander will lead you only to your death. I hate mind control. Truly do. Gotta hit him. Problem is he's nicely behind cover. Move all the way up, but I just wouldn't really do anything good. I decide that we're going to face him. Let's take the 50 50. Come on. Come on focus. At least counts as a hit. I hope that we can shoot through his um, full cover. Yeah, I didn't get it. Can't. I was hoping for more 50-50 hits. A disappointing effort. Put on. No, no real good flanking position. He could always flank back. I would rather take two shots. We don't want to be mind controlled with our. We don't want to be mind controlled here. We gotta use uh, the skirmishers' damage. There's the mind control. I can deal with that. So we can deal with that. Uh, that's not good. We've got a soldier down. Get to him before the chosen do. Could let him just get the information. I could actually 
let him extract the information. Ed Galleon Poe could be taken into into the stronghold. I mean, it's a squaddy sniper. Let's also be a bit realistic here. On the other hand, if we really can get down to him and kill him, that wouldn't be bad either. That's good, that's good. All right, best case scenario, we kill this guy. This. Okay, so I got one. Good, now, time. Flank the warlock. Oh shit, I needed to reload. Mm. Still okay, it will drive him out of his position there. We can overwatch. He will move. And we're just overwatching. The reason why I'm overwatching is he has regeneration. Now that he moves, he'll take the shots and then the damage is applied. So he's not regenerating be beforehand. We definitely, we definitely got to get rid of his armor. Mind control. Yeah. Nice. You will obey me. Nice. We got to resist. That thing is taking control of our soldiers. Another time, perhaps. Your forces will My control is on cooldown. He's still in full cover. Now. You know what? If he wants to take the fight up here, why not? Close the door. Reload. Move up to here, even move up to here. This is completely out of line of sight. We're just breaking line of sight and let him choose. Revival protocol to get rid of the disorientation. Edgar Alien as a pistol sniper for now. Would be cool to get one more step into that door. Let's see what he does. He has, still has a Mind Scorch. His summon is down. Lost Swarm will appear downstairs. That's fine. Might even help us because the Chosen will focus on them as well.
Truly, you are loathsome creatures. Just look at you. On my way. Moving in. We flank him. We do not. Interesting. Hmm. He just jumped out of the window. No, he did not. Interesting, we just can't see him there. Rolling. All right, if we position ourselves here, the Lost Swarm will not come up. It will only move up here, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. Remember, the Lost Swarm are friend as long as they are around the Warlock and not around us. Let's move to here. Get out of line of sight for the Warlock. Closing the door. And let's do some overwatch. What? is even happening so the losses are just standing downstairs okay cool good so if we were to go in here we would flank him. But we would only be in half cover. Probably not the worst idea. Heading there now. Gotta start giving him a hard time and get rid of his armor. There we go, finally. Some shredding. Very nice. I will make you very All right, be wildering shots. Good. He's now taking some serious damage. All right, Whew. good. Let's see what his reaction is. He might will jump out of the window, maybe, maybe not. Dazed. This here is not too bad. It might distract from us. As a true master of the Elder's power, the lightest touch will be all that is necessary to probe the depths of your soldier's fragile mind. 
But keep in mind, he has mind control. Ooh, that would be good. That would be so good. Watch that we can't reach him there. Twenty-eight percent. That stinks. It's going to take one damage regardless. And there is a good chance that we might remove this cover. Shot wide. You will have to do better. Thirty-five percent is not good at all. Move back so that I'm not going to get mind controlled. Overwatch it is. Alright, reload Overwatch. We're probably going to get a mind control. There's the mind control. Two rounds of mind control and we gotta deal with it. can't reach us through a closed door or with a single move so we're closing and reloading Out. There you go. A protocol to Gravedigger, and since mind control is just on cooldown. position myself like here so that I can go in and flank him next turn problem is still our own friend is being mind controlled let's rather reload that's a safer option Warlock regenerates substantial, uh, substantial amounts of health How's that possible? How is he shooting through the wall? No quarter given. Wow. That's wrong on so many levels. I, I'm not even going to try to understand how the Warlock just did what he did. Since that Galleon Poe is injured, we're going to use him to block the stairs and deal with the lost.
on target location. What's over there? All right, Dark Tower Noxus moves in. Closes the door. Next turn, we're going to grapple. Fortunately, none of those fields are ready for grapple. Oh, that is bad. moves and blocks the stairs that's an important job as well yeah next turn we're going to go all in once the mind control is over you should be done should have uh, overwatch because that could have backfired with our mind control soldier he now moves them right into the loss. Such a prick. They move in an aimless place without Such a prick. Sight. You humans should be grateful. You will die still aware of your own existence. Luckily, I think he counts as Advent, and Advent only has a 33% chance that uh, losses are going for him. So 66% chance that they are going for us, which means the majority of the swarm should be trying to get up the stairs. I will sacrifice you for the elders' blessings. Moving on target location. High ground. Ooh, look at you. I mean, all well, things considered, we're in the open, can be flanked, but he has all of his mind uh, bending cooldowns ready. So. Let's try to get the loss uh, away. Believe it or not, they are of high priority at the moment, so that our uh, Grenadier is not getting engaged upon. Okay, bad, that's bad, but I still think we're going to go and take the risk. Those dashers are not going to reach me. Let's try to hit uh, another 80% shot, so that is missing. An strike. Nope. Well, maybe. Maybe we're doing something specific with um, Dark Tower Noxus here. Seventy-five percent. Oh yeah. Come on. Is 
So we could go for 8 protocol, which I think is the right play. Probably going to get a Mind Scorch anyways. Alright, he's regenerating again. This is getting more complicated than I would have anticipated. It's just very, very annoying. I am on the brink of almost giving up that the skirmisher can be caught because we can regain a skirmisher and even regain him on a higher rank. And I don't see how we're going to beat him. Not anytime soon. His regeneration and and his mind control will at the end of the day cause our downfall. Well he's taking some damage now. I'm really considering letting uh, the skirmisher just be abducted. Yeah, I haven't taken any decision yet, but the problem that I'm seeing is we're just not we're just not fast enough in just rushing in and getting uh, and getting him down. So I'll proceed as mentioned. which is for now. I'm taking a tight formation here and I'll let him abduct uh, the skirmisher. Not happy with that, but uh, I definitely wanted the mission to be successful. Yeah, we don't need to rescue him really, we need a new one. Is there an evic zone back here? No, we can place one by ourselves. Requesting immediate evac. What a mission. I am not 100% sure If I could have just left the mission without fighting him. It still does not state that I've killed all of the enemy targets. Heading to 
All right, let's get out of here. Not the best mission. Maybe in a longer term perspective, we're going to see that that was actually positive because we've gotten a stronger soldier. For now, it has not been. Yep, he got the skirmisher, and it's a mission complete. We, I probably, 100 enemies, well, I probably could have done that mission even without fighting him. Like I said, I'm still on the edge whether or not it was um, clever to let him go. Um, the replacement mission is just, yeah, recruit a new Templar, it would, uh, take five to seven days. And we would get a Templar, not a Templar, a Skirmisher uh, that is at least Corporal, probably even Sergeant level at this point. Not sure, but definitely higher than Sporty. We got three promotions, 20, 43 days. Okay, well, yeah, that is bad. Holy shit. Okay, that's a lot. Dark Tower is good. 12 days is fine. 23 days, yeah, I get that. I guess that's fine as well. If we have had demolition in the last mission, it would have been probably a bit different. Hansen is now called Pyro. That's great. And Gravedigger is gone. We got some supplies out of it, so I guess... That was not all for nothing, but now that Edgar and Poe on top of it got Fear of the Chosen. Um, Edgar, I think you're done for this run. I mean, 43 days um, and a massive negative, a massive negative trade. Not gonna work out. We got Intel, we can, however, get Intel on other way, in other ways, so we're continuing to build the radio relay. And that is some good news. Right, 14 more days and we're looking at uh, another another increase. That's not bad. I like the extra intel because we can probably really require more intel at this point. High influence with faction needed for a second reaper. That's not bad. Engineer and promotion, also not bad. I'm torn between getting higher um, faction influence, which would essentially really help us a lot. Yeah, probably we're just going for the higher faction influence. The second Reaper would be absolutely nice. So who's getting that plus one health? I guess Zirkim. No, 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 no. We're not gonna tolerate any form of being captured. That's not gonna fly.
You know what? Divert, you got the job. You'll get plus one health. It's a bit greedy to go for yet another um, influence mission because everyone is just injured. We could leave it as is and go for a normal intel mission, but that would require a scientist. Mm, not sure. The engineer piece isn't bad either, considering that Quick Feet is already a captain. So that would skyrocket him even further. Plus another engineer isn't bad. I don't mind the soldier wounded uh, too much. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for the engineer. The other one would be probably a bit too greedy if we're putting all of our eggs in one basket. I am relatively sure that we're going to be uh, facing another mission anytime soon. Continuing to uh, now build the tower and once that's done we might need to heal a bit. Nice. Alright, with the Guerrilla Tactics School we're getting squad size 1. And we're definitely going to get squad size 2 in a second. Um, so that's good. What else could we theoretically get? Yeah, Hunter's Instinct. Okay. So alien debris almost cleared. That here would take way too long. And we could go for a holo planner for another resistance order slot. Not bad, all things considered. You can see the excavation here might take too long. And the question is also where, what would we do with the power? The last uh, building needs to be a resist, um, needs to be a um, communication relay, because we need a lot of contacts. So that's a given. Having one more would be fantastic, but probably not realistic. It seems like cloud chasing at this point. This is usually ninety days, right? Yeah. Even with the reduced uh, days, we would need a lot of ener uh, engineers. What could we do with the engineers instead during the same amount of time? At the moment, nothing, that's the point. But in two days, we need an engineer here, and then we need to speed up the um, resistance communication. I guess it's fine, we're getting another engineer soon, so I guess it's okay. Difficult decisions, definitely difficult decisions to get there. Long live the resistance. Good, we got Pursuit of Knowledge, which is 20% uh, boosted research uh, time. What does that mean concretely? We just got the encrypted codex data even further down, which is great. Um, yeah, we are essentially now at seven, nine uh, scientists. Avengers Let's go to the black market board. real quick. Market is open. We need supplies. We need the data pad as well. Auto loader got to go. Couple of trooper corpses, not too many. We still need some. Oh, 
we keep the Larium core, maybe we can do something with them later. Nope, the data caches, we need them. Mine shields are good, so I'll leave a few sectors. Purchasing anything, we could get an engineer, but we're short on intel, so we're not going to rush uh, or do anything with the intel. Um, either healing or really straight up intel at the expense of not having enough soldiers. So where do we stand? Templar is going to come back. Um, Reaper is going to come back. Everyone else is wounded. We definitely got to heal. We got a squad size 2 now, which is good. Avenger plotting new course. Incoming message for you, Commander. And it was an okay month. Not particularly happy. They now get their summoning talents, which they, by the way, have used beforehand, so I don't see how that was any, or how it's now any worse than before. They already had the summoning talents. Okay, so what do we uh, have here? Supply drops are increased, that's okay. Supplies collected from each supply drop are further increased. Yeah, that's okay. Will recovery is good. Intel re rewards increased by 10%. That's, that might be interesting. That might be interesting because that's what we're really looking for at the moment. A lot of Intel, so let's do that and get some more intel all right we could get a third slot here not absolutely necessary at the moment next big step is going to be the encrypted codex uh, data And soon there is probably going to be another retaliation mission, if I remember correctly. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Although we have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe. All right, perfect. Scientist and 114 intel. Okay, that's it. That's more like it. 114 intel is exactly what we need at the moment. We would be at 225. So that is almost 240. So two, um, two further expansions. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Let's just double check where we are with our soldiers for today's episode's ends. <sighs> Bones is almost ready. Zirkim Hayward. You saw Mike. The same I did in that facility. So yeah, I guess we can. Kept my away from their all you know what? Since no, there is no downside in doing that. How about we're training yet another ranger? Might as well start with that. Mm. Yeah, another scientist would be great. Six scientists means plus two from the laboratory, eight, and then 20%, so 10 
uh, scientists. We got the codex in three days, which means May 28th. So let's think about that. We got May 28th um, in terms of projects. We still got the black side vial. It's now down to seven days. I think it was seven days before. Um, I think it was seven days before. So we're looking at roughly end of May, 5th of June, until uh, that is done. And we would need to have um, the gate. Uh, so that still needs to happen and we need to research it. Um, we need to research the um, suit and we need to research the avatar itself so that's still three um, distinct uh, research which usually take 15 days each we can now get it down oh yeah oh, it's gonna be tough that's definitely going to be tough anything else that we need can do chosen warlock is without question the most loyal of the elders children in his many verbose orations the warlock has made it clear yeah. that he will make us pay gotta get to more alien uh, more contacts here that is a given so this here is set already in order to do that i'll need both of the engineers so we're probably not going to clear that here in time either um Which means we are a bit uh, stuck with the buildings that we have. It's just, it is what it is. We have these and no other buildings. Um, probably three more research um, things that we need to do. It's around 30 days, plus the seven days that you've seen, plus the three days. So we're looking at 40, 40 45 days. Yeah, it's gonna be close. So um, that plus the Intel research, I definitely can't afford to do anything else. Probably not going to have plated armor for the entirety of the run. Unless we get something great. And covert actions. Recruit Reaper might be something that we can do. Not sure yet. Recruit Skirmisher definitely something that we could get. We got two breakthrough researches. Um, yeah, sword damage plus one is okay, but not really needed. Facility lead would cost us intel in order to research, plus research time, so it's not going to happen. We might recruit a skirmisher and or a reaper. Elsewise, hunting further hunting down the chosen absolutely makes sense. The breakthrough research do not make sense. Yeah, and that's really it. That is really it. Okay, which brings us to the end of um, this episode. It's looking, it's looking like a pretty close call at this point, guys. So keep your uh, fingers crossed. Uh, if you enjoy the thought process behind it, as well as uh, how we're fighting against it, leave a thumbs up and a comment uh, down below. Much appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe, of course. And if you have done all of that, thumbs up to you and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.